There is no federal law, no DOT law, no FMC regulation that prohibits a firearm in a commercial vehicle. None. It is 100% legal to carry or transport a weapon in a semi. As long as you are legally allowed to own, buy, and possess a weapon, you can have a gun in your truck. Now let me let me let me play devil it. let me play devil's advocate. Here we go. Hold on, let me play devil's okay. advocate. Now I I, I just recently made a video about talking about you know uh, guns and everything because everybody every time somebody comes in a group, I'm in a lot of Facebook groups. They always ask you know for protection, and everybody always say, "Yo, grab a gun, get a gun." Do that gun. And I'm I'm like, yo, I hear what you're saying, but I'm about to play devil's advocate. Now, I you know, I, I'm not sure about your company, but majority of these companies, I'm going to say maybe about 75, 80 percent of them, it's in their policy that you're not supposed to have a gun on their truck. And I say their truck because it's their truck. And if they don't want a gun on their truck and they put it in their policies, that's why you guys got to read that thick ass book that they give you. Y'all so quick to sign the back <laughs> without reading that thick ass company policy book. I suggest y'all take time out to read that because somewhere in the fine print, it does say, uh, yeah, firearms is not allowed on their trucks. What do you say about that company, slow, slow walk? Company policy is not law. Mm. Mm. I have a wife, very beautiful wife. She's my second wife because my first one passed away. But it's 12 years younger than me at the house waiting for me. Mm. I have the coolest six-year-old son anybody will ever meet sitting at the house waiting for me. Mm. There is not going to be, there is not one person on the face of this earth that will prevent me from getting home to my wife and my son. You break into my truck, you threaten me, and I will take them out. Educate you in the... <laughs> he said educate. I, 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 <laughs> You, 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 you might. A lot of people say, "Fuck around and find out." I don't like to say that. I'll just tell them, you know. Let me educate you. <laughs> we'll explore that situation and we'll find out exactly how wrong you're going to be. Yeah, we'll we'll find that but, out. We'll find that out together. <laughs> but yet, yeah, there's no there's no law that says you can't have one. Exactly. As long as you're legally, if you can buy a gun, then you can keep it in your truck. Now, there is a difference between carrying your gun and transporting your gun. I go to California a lot. In California, I can't carry my gun. Mm -hmm. California does not recognize my CCW. Just like Baltimore don't recognize mine. But there's this great little law that was passed a few oh, years wait, back. My, my fault. Maryland, Maryland, Maryland. Baltimore is the city. My bad. Maryland. <laughs> that and it is one law, it's a federal law, and it says in the law, it supersedes all other state and local laws. It's called the Firearm Owners Protection Act. It is a law that says how to legally transport a weapon through a state that does not recognize a permit, or if you don't have a permit. And it's quite simple. You unload the gun, you lock it up. You take the ammunition out, you lock that up into a separate case. Mm -hmm. That's how, and they don't, they're not together. And that's how you transport it. That's how you transport it because then you're not carrying your weapon on you. You're transporting your weapon. Mm -hmm. There's a difference. It kind of sucks because you know somebody's in my is doing something stupid around my truck in California. I'm not you know. Hey, wait a minute! I got to unlock this and unlock that. <laughs> load this. Hold on. You know, it, but it it allows you to do it. And everybody will sit there and say, well, try that crap through New York City or New Jersey or Baltimore or Connecticut. And what they're not understanding is in New York, 
what they completely forgot about is the concealed carry law that has actually gone to the Supreme Court last year concerning the New York New York State's gun law. And uh, the Supreme Court is supposed to be releasing a ruling and an opinion on it, I believe, in April. Mm-hmm. But a lot of times what people get in trouble for in New York are their magazines. They have more than 10 rounds in it. Mm. Or it's, a t- it's more than a 10-round magazine. In New Jersey, if you're caught, a lot of times what you're getting in trouble for is your ammunition. Mm. In New Jersey, hollow points are illegal. Mm. The only self the only self defense ammunition that I believe New Jersey recognizes is Horn Daddy uh, personal defense ammo. So if you go to New Jersey and you got your gun all stashed away and you're all nice and legal and you get pulled over and they ask you, do you have any weapons in your truck? And you go, yes, sir, I do. I've got such and such gun and it's unloaded, locked up and separate. Oh, they're going, okay, well, let me see your gun. You know, open it up. You show them there's an empty gun. You open up your ammunition case. They look at your ammo and you got federal HST hollow points in your magazine. Well, excuse me, turn around, put your hands behind your back because you just broke a law. Whoa, because I, I, think, I, I think that's what I got in mind. My, I think I got yeah, hollow, if you, hollow points. Yeah, well, you want, see, you want hollow points because it's self-defense ammo because a full metal jacket tends to go through things. Right. A hollow point, it, it hits in a, you know, it mushrooms. But most hollow points in New Jersey are illegal. Okay. So you have to when you once you get your CCW, you have to know a lot of things. The easiest thing I can tell you is if you're going to carry a gun in your truck, great. Get a gun, get some training on it, get a concealed carry permit, and then you need to get. I use USCCA. It's insurance for my gun. Okay. It's where if I ever have to use it. I can pick up a phone and I've got a lawyer waiting for me right now. And okay. there's a lot of, there's a lot of, there's, there's like three or four companies out there that will insure gun owners for just in case. Get the apps on your phone. You, there's concealed carry apps that you can get down and you can look the laws up. Hell, Google's your best friend. Just Google, is this legal in this such and such state? And you can find it, but it's not illegal. And everybody wants to swear up and down it is. Okay. Just go to go go to my TikTok page. Hell, I was I was on there today arguing I, I, arguing with I people see. about it. <laughs> I see. So slow walk, man. Listen, you know a, a lot of these new jacks out here, and I know like back in the day, uh, the dangers of trucking was like re- was real back there. I mean. You know, we we had like some some crazy ass truck drivers that chopped people up, put them in the back of the, uh, of their freezer, and and drove for days with bodies in the in the freezer. You know, we had truck drivers that kidnap you know prostitutes on the on the, on the line and and dropping them off in the ditch on I eighty or I forty or whatever. These new jacks today, you know, and I'm talking about the females, you know, I love my female drivers, you know, shout out to y'all. But, you know, I, I just think that they taking this seatbelt around the around the door thing a little bit too, too much. What, what do you that, what do you think about that? That's an old trick. That, that's 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 uh, that's that's old. When, when it comes to the female drivers. I know that they need a little bit more protection and uh, I'm pretty sure that they get harassed a lot more than a normal driver would. Mm -hmm. But seeing how I'm a second amendment advocate, I think the best thing for a female to do, carry a gun. There you go. It's legal. I, again, like I said, I just think, I, I just think what, you know, it, it, it's like every female that's on TikTok just comes on to be like, yeah, this is how I protect myself by wrapping the seatbelt around the door. And I'm like, hold up. That's because they that's because they're told they can't carry protection in the truck or carry wasp spray. It, go ahead. Right. Carry, well, carry wasp. Yeah. Go ahead. Carry that. And you then can. you get arrested. For using it, there's a there, there, there's there's the federal laws right on the back stating this is not to be used for anything other than the purpose it was meant for. 
you spray somebody in the face with swath spray, you're going to get arrested too. Because it, you're not using it for the purpose that it was meant for. It's meant to kill wasps. <laughs> not to carry a tire. somebody. <laughs> yeah. Carry, or if you don't want to carry a gun, get pepper spray, get bear spray. Carry knives in your truck. Every, we all need to protect ourselves out here. Whether, and if you can't carry a gun, find something that you can carry that will give you protection. And then get trained in it. Learn how to use it. Nice. I'm not saying everybody needs to be walking around with a gun because then it'd be like Dodge City back in the 1800s because, you know, there's a lot of people out here that they don't need a gun. They shouldn't have a gun. Exactly. And that they give us, they give legal, they give legal gun owners a bad name. But everybody needs to learn how to protect themselves one way or another. I mean, do I have protection in my truck? I've got several things of protection in my truck. <laughs> if I can't here. get to one, I can get to I can get to <laughs> get to another one. The biggest thing you got to know your surroundings. It is our job to know what's going on in front of us when we're driving down the road all the time. We have to know what's directly in front of us. We have to know what's beside us. We have to know what the hell's behind us. So if you're going to do that while you're working and driving down the road, why aren't you going to do that when you get out of the truck? Exactly. You need to keep doing it. And for the and I mean, I'm, for the female drivers, I'm, you know, more power to them. I'll be the first one to admit that there's there's female drivers out here that can out drive anybody because they don't have that super trucker macho attitude mm -hmm. so you know protect yourself learn the laws that you need to learn find out what you can and can't carry company policy is not a law get trained on it and just always know where you're at mm -hmm. pay attention especially nowadays hell they're Dumbasses are speeding through the truck stops, running people over. You need to pay attention when you're walking nowadays, no matter what. Exactly. Also know that there's not a driver shortage. Slow yeah, walk, there ain't man. No damn driver shortage. It's, I, it's a give it shit shortage. I man, I truly enjoyed myself tonight, and I know there's much more, much more to you than meets the eye, man. So we definitely, definitely gotta come back again. And uh, and 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 do this again, man. Because, like I said, I, I, you know, I, I, uh, I, I just enjoy conversations like this, and I just wish that I have like all the time in the world. But you know, you're you're busy, I'm busy, and everything, and all like that, man. But again, like I said, I, I truly enjoyed myself with you, man. Before you get on up out of here, um. Being that you're an old schooler, 28 years in the game, man, what was some of the what was some of the fears uh, going into trucking when you first started, and what still scares you to this day? Going down mountains, going down a hill. There you go. That that that's you know. That still puckers me up. I don't care how many times I've gone down the hill. You know, you, you still get a little bit of twinge. Because one of two things are going to happen going down a hill. You can either go down a hill one time too fast. Or you can go down a hill a million times too slow. Either way, you're going to get to the bottom. Now, when you get to the bottom, what condition you're in depends on how well you do it. Going down hills have always been a little bit of a pucker factor for me. But that's just because what if, you know, what's going to happen? How am I going to fix it? How can I keep something from, if something goes wrong, what's my next move? And it doesn't matter how many times I've gone down the hill. That's the first thought that goes through my head every time. Exactly. I remember the first big hill I had, the first big hill I had to do on my own. Right after training, I'm out driving down the road. I'm by myself. I'd had maybe a month experience as a solo driver, and I got on top of Truckee, and I'm sitting there going, oh, shit. 
<laughs> Donner, what am I going to do? So, you know, you got that, you, you always have that little, little fringe of fear, a little fringe of fear. Mm-hmm. And anybody that says, I ain't scared of no damn hill. I've been doing this 40 damn years. I ain't bullshit. You need to hang your keys up because you think you know it all. Slow walk. My biggest man. fear when I first oh go ahead when go I ahead. first started driving. Mm-hmm. Biggest fear when I first started driving was, you know, can I do it? I mean, when you first start driving, and you know, hell, I, before I started driving a truck, I was D, I, I was a DJ. I worked in a radio. I worked in radio stations and topless bars. I went getting, I, you know, I was getting paid to drink alcohol, play music, and look at naked women dance. And then I get into an eighteen wheeler. You know, I'm in a big truck. <laughs> you know, I went from one world, I went from one extreme to the next. My biggest fear was, you know, can I do this? Can I make it a career? Twenty eight years later, you know, I'm still trying to figure out if I can make it a career. I, <laughs> I guess I've been kind of successful at it. I've, I've owned. I've owned my own trucks. I've owned three trucks. No, two trucks. I've owned two trucks. I've been a lease operator. You know, I've I've been a trainer. I've been an instructor. I haven't killed anybody yet. You've done it all. I've had it. I'm not real. No, I mean, I I don't really think I'll, I'll ever do it all. You know, I just, I get up every morning and I've got to take care of my family. That's what it boils down to. I miss a lot of stuff. I've got four older daughters that right now age from 22 to 30. They grew up with their dad not there a lot. I missed a lot of stuff with my kids growing up, and I'm missing a lot of stuff with my son. I don't have to stay out as much as I used to, but I still miss a lot. But I still get up every morning, and I still have to do it. Because every mile I drive, that's a mile closer to back to my family. Doesn't matter if I'm pulling away from them or if I'm on my way to the house. Every mile I'm driving, it's a mile closer to them. Well, Slow Walk, again, man, thank you very much for coming on and sharing your testimony, sharing your stories with me, man. I really do appreciate it. But uh, we gotta, we got to get up out of here. Uh, again, we're going to have to, we definitely going to have to come back again, bro. And, uh, and, and talk again, because I'm sure there's more stories that you, that you got to share with me. And I am definitely all the ears to listen to them. How can they, how, how can they find you slow walk? Go, go to TikTok. It's uh, slow walker Two. S L O W A L K R and the number two. All right. That's what's up. TikTok. We definitely gonna have to come back and talk about TikTok, bro, because I am definitely not a fan of that app. But uh, we'll we'll oh, definitely. Dude, I'm I'm gonna go. Don't dig you, you haven't paid attention to all my videos. See, I'm gonna be TikTok famous. Uh, de- de- hey 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 hey. Let's let's hold that. <laughs> let's hold that. Let's hold that for another conversation, bro. Until next time, man. Thank you very much for coming on. I really do appreciate you, my man. And uh, and we'll talk again soon. All right, brother. You be safe now. All right, now. All right. Bye-bye.